Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you some uh, collocations and some art tips relating to time. So let's get started to talk about the time. When we talk about the time, the first one, we will see the periods of time. The second, I will show you some adjective relating to time. The third one, we will see how times change. And uh, the next one, we will see some common mistakes we often use in speaking and writing. And finally, we will apply um, some collocations and some words uh, we uh, saw in these videos and apply in the sentence. So let's see the first section of the video. In this section, we talk about periods of time. So let's see the first word, a century. A century equal 100 years. A decade equal 10 years. So what about an annual? An annual, we often mention to the conference and conventions. For example, an annual conference is the one that happens every year, right? So what about a quarterly journal? A quarterly journal is one that comes out for times and years. An era. So what about an era? An era is a particular period of time that is marked by special events or developments. For, instance, for, for instance, we can talk about post-war era or an rabbit. Uh, an era of uh, rapid social change. What about a phase? A phase is any stage in a series of events uh, or process of development. Uh, the word initial and intermediate. Initial and intermediate we can uh, mention to a project. For example, a project can be uh, can be at initial or on the way to say the beginning or intermediate final phase or stage. A phase or a stage uh, may uh, also be uh, described as preceding or another way to say happening before now. Um, current, current means happening now. Critical is a particular important. The final word is the transitional. Transitional, um, we talk about uh, something in the process of the change. So in this section, we uh, explain all the words to talk about period of time. The next slide, the next. Uh, slide. I will also use some adjective relating to time. Right now, I will show you some adjectives relating to time. The first one is concurrent. Concurrent means something is occurring at the same time. For example, there were concurrent riots in the several northern towns in England. Next one is contemporary. Contemporary means dating from the same period. It's sitting now. For example, the amphitheater is roughly contemporary with the Colosseum in Rome. Eventual. Eventual means something is happening or is sitting later, after effort or problems. For example, the eventual design car was great improvement on the one the Lamborghini car originally considered. Forthcoming. Forthcoming means something is happening soon. 
For example, many videos of mine will be published in the forthcoming weeks. Next one is ongoing. Ongoing means something is happening now. For example, training is part of our ongoing career development program. Simultaneous. Simultaneous means something is happening at the same time. For example, there were many simultaneous lucky money on a third holiday. Next one is subsequent. Subsequent means happening after something else. For example, developments on the nuclear weapons will be dealt with in a subsequent world. Next one is temporary. Temporary means something not for a long period, not permanent. For example, volunteers built temporary shelters for the survivors. The final word I will show you is successive. Successive means something is happening immediately after something else. For example, there has been low temperature for two successive months. Before ending this video, I will show you some common mistake. In right here, sometimes words like early, late, daily can be both adverbs and adjectives. Uh, an early late daily meeting we went early late daily but nowadays it is only an adverb so we talk about present present day current problems not nowadays problems right we cannot say the nowadays problem we just say present present day current problem so this is the end of the video and I will see you next time.
Don't leave me here. 